something? Are we started? Yeah, um, just starting now. Calling the meeting to order at 5.15 on Wednesday, April 5th. And present we have uh, Saren Perrin and Russell French, Laurie Lucier, our clerk, and Lee Whitcomb. And first order of business is to review the meeting the minutes for our last meeting. Mm -hmm. I have a motion. Oops, up uh, As read. Meetings is printed. Okay, as printed. Yeah. yeah. Uh, second. Second. Okay. Is there any further discussion or questions? Um, I I just did have a question. Um, I know we passed and we approved it about uh, Roy Bishop, but um, I didn't really go over what. And everything about it and what we're he was what, what he's doing for us. Okay, it was listed on the proposal. The scope of work was listed. Yeah. In 24. You mean? Yeah. And I didn't because we approved to uh, pay that bill, right? Yes, we paid the outstanding bill. Mm -hmm. Plus, and we also looked over his proposal for fiscal year 24. And that had a complete list of, of the scope of work that would be involved, which included, um, uh, well, we can get it out. Power lines. Uh, Power lines, yeah, hydro the plant, and... the um, solar adjustments to commercial and industrial, mm -hmm. um, advice as needed on an across the board increase, um, all the usual work. Mm -hmm. Okay. I didn't vote. Well, no, oh, we oh. are. We had voted on it. Yes. 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 Yeah, I was just yeah. questioning. No, yeah. I'm talking about on the uh, vote on the minutes. Oh, I thought we did. No. No, I. I, we, I, I made a motion to accept. Yes, and then we have to have the discussion questions, and then oh, we vote. Oh, oh, okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All in favor of accepting the minutes of our last meeting, March 22nd, as read. Aye. 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 Unanimous. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Which one you want to sign this? Oh, one? that's fine. Okay. Here are the is the agenda for this evening's meeting. Okay, new mail and invoices. Let me run down through here just a little bit. That would fall under that category. These are election materials from the Mass Association of Assessing Offers. Should officers, should you care to um, participate in the vote?
what anybody is, you know. <laughs> no, that's it. Most of us don't. They're almost always from the eastern part of the state. Yeah, because they're the folks who can attend meetings, mm -hmm. you know. And uh, so, all right. We still haven't had the final information on those last two personal exemptions. Um, I guess we'll just wait. It's up to them to get it in. Or they do April 1st. That's right. We've gone past April 1st. Yeah. Well, these are the exemptions of the Community Preservation Fund surcharge. Are we getting ahead of ourselves? So, yeah, let's, you know, let's do that. Where's the mail? <laughs> uh, let's see. The mail and the bills. <laughs> Thank you, Russ. You're right. She bounces. She likes to bounce. Well, <laughs> we have a piece of mail from Jim Matus. Oops. Whose application for abatement we denied last meeting. Because of the right. conservation commission. Right. And I wrote to him saying, hi, Jim, after reviewing the Conservation Commission's determination and talking with the chair of that commission, who was the point person for them, we pulled out topo and soil maps to further study your parcel. Our decision is that the parcel can be developed for a house lot. Therefore, we voted to not grant your abatement. You have 90 days in which to ask us to reconsider. And of course, you're welcome to attend any of our meetings. And I received back Lee. You voted without walking the land and actually seeing the property and ignored all the evidence I presented in my abatement. Well, we didn't ignore it. We talked about it, but at any rate, you told me we were going to walk the land and that I was going to show you the cabin and the distance from the stream, etc. This seems like a completely unfair development and I'm definitely going to contest it and request that you vote again on my case only after we've walked the land. I will also wanna be at the town meeting when this is voted on again, this time more fairly. Well, that's fine. We can make an appointment and go see it with him. He's asked us to revisit it, so we will. But we really don't have the authority for the Conservation Commission. Has. That's right. We don't. As far as seeing the cabin, I mean, that's just a matter of valuing it, which is at a very low value anyway. Um, the, dis the cabin's distance from the stream You know, should you write him another note and point out that the Conservation Commission, this is what they have stated, and we're going by what their statement is. I mean, we can walk the land, but yeah, it's not our determination to say whether somebody can build a house there. And the Conservation Commission, yes, to say yes, whether they can build the house. Well, or, I think that if we if we make an arrangement and walk the land with him. We'll be able to talk over a lot of these things with him in person. And I also think, having read the CONCOM's determination, that he understands it differently than I understood it in reading it over. He may have had a, concert, a, a conversation, a conservation conversation, <laughs> uh, which led him to some other conclusion but well i think it's do you have that um, yes because i'm wondering if we could read it and determine it yep. how he determined it a different way than i have the written and discussion with Bruton. Oh no, this is the this is a different one. Sorry, um, I have to find it. I have it though. That's another one we were working on last week. I I don't know. My my thought is that it would be good to walk it with him and see what he has to say on site. And I was comfortable with our decision, but uh, 
If he isn't, it seems to me that that's fair. Well, I'm just wondering how he read it differently than. Mm -hmm. well, I'll find it. If it could be interpreted different ways. I don't know. Yeah. I still lean towards what the Conservation Commission recommends. Uh, that's not our, mm -hmm. not our thing to mm -hmm. determine whether it's available or not. And that's right. Mm -hmm. They always get the call. They have to sign off before you even apply for building permits. So, you know, right, that they so, don't see any. So, what, you want to table it till we see him again, or you want to Let's see answer if, him again? Or? Well, do you think, do you know offhand, if you might be available Saturday the 15th, that's 10 days from now? I know, it's it's unknown, year, unknown, unknown know regions. Yeah. yeah. Um, I could see. Yep. Yeah. Because so we've had run request for a review of out buildings. We have this one. Uh, we could start in on some of our incompletes. It could be a good day to get out there. Mm -hmm. oh, excuse me. Sure. And uh, I'll see if he could be, could be available that day, barring bad weather. I want to go out in a pouring rain. Mm -hmm. And put deep mud. I think he just wants us to make sure we're with that. Which can. I, be, I think it's excellent if he wants to come and mm -hmm. present his ideas mm -hmm. at the meeting when we review it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I will be away from the 19th through the end of the month. I'll be back on Monday the 1st. So as I sent out a little email, uh, do you have a pro uh, preference or a problem? problem? For Tuesday. Okay, let's go for Tuesday the 18th then to be our next meeting. Not that that, I gotta write that down. is in order here, but it... <laughs> Tuesday the 18th, next, yeah. next meeting. Yep. Okay. There we go. All right. I'll tell Lori when she comes back in. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I mean, the only other thing that would would you want a concom person to go with us? I'd love to have Bruton go with us. Mm. I mean, will they do that? I, sure. I, I, well, I don't know that he wouldn't. I don't know. I mean, I. That's a good idea. Can I invite him? That's a good idea. Yes. Good. I'll invite him. Right. Yeah. So do we terrific. need to vote or anything on this, or we're just gonna? What do you uh, want to do? No, I don't think we need to vote on it. Um, you don't, don't. We have to vote to reopen it. No, I don't. I don't know. Okay, let's. I'll make a motion that we reopen the abatement of the abatement application of James Matus for his land on Roaring Brook Road. Second. Any right. further discussion or questions? No, nope. all in favor. Well, yeah. The only discussion is you're going to get in touch with them and see if yes, we can, see if we can arrange a whole. Right, right. As far as opening, reopening the issue. Uh -huh. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. And we're going to try to do that on the fifteenth to do the tour. Right. Okay. I'll write that down. And then the next meeting after that would be May third. Which will be right. when we would talk about it, supposedly. Uh, mm -hmm. And if you can just let me know, I'm yep. Mm -hmm. Yep. We'll do. Okay. Invoices. We need to have any just at the moment. SHI, the billing agent for Tyler. All the towns are all messed up because nobody got billed for 23. <coughs> Remember how I said we hadn't been billed for? That was why mm. we hadn't paid it? Mm. None of them. None of the so Tyler towns. Have to bill. And now they're in the process of sending the bills, but they had changed the numbers <gasps> differently from what the contract had been. And so that's being argued. And 
Um, okay, we have no bills. That's being argued right now. Uh, so we have no invoices with regard to that. That was an invoice that we had and that we said we were going to table until we had more information. About so it. who's doing the argument? The, the other all town, the towns all are. The towns, all the towns as individual are. Individual towns or well, as yes, and as a group, as a user group. Yes. Yeah. How much of a difference? Could you say in the well, uh, they had quoted me forty six oh one for next year, and they did, I believe it's supposed to stay at thirty seven seventy five. So well, that's you know two hundred and. $56 or something like that, $20, $31. At any rate, it's it's a sum. And there's also a note somewhere saying that um, I, di I did write to them about the 3905 because I was expecting 3775. And I said, did you add a late charge? Mm -hmm. Because we didn't pay it back last summer. And I haven't had a response. But the other towns are saying, yeah, ours got changed too. So we're waiting for that all to come forward. The it will be coming. I would think it'd be resolved in the next two weeks. Uh, and it sounds like they're going to go back to the original figures that were quoted to us <coughs> for this year and one. Mm -hmm. Okay. Recent. Hmm? Yes, we decided our next meeting is going to be on Tuesday, the 18th of April, because I'll be away on Wednesday, the 19th. That was the fullness of the excitement. <laughs> we have a couple of sales. Well, one is a trans, it's a sale within the family. Mm -hmm. And the other is the bachelor farm. That did go through. It did go through on Monday. Twice. Yes. Twice. <laughs> well, Emmy, uh, the owner and her first wife had co-owned it. The her first wife had deeded it back to her, but then they wanted a confirmatory deed. So it went through twice. <laughs> yeah. How much was that? 820. We had a valued at 934. Mm -hmm. And people from Tacoma Park, Maryland. It sounds like, well, I, I don't know anything at, at all about them. Um, Was it two sales and one transfer or one sale and two transfers? Um, there's no, this two one. transfers. Well, one, two sales and one transfer because the one with the that nail drive is right, a sale. Right, that was a sale. Oh, that was a sale? Yes. Yeah, because it was three something. Even though it was in the family, it was a, a sale. Yeah, that wasn't but it's a not three considered, six. Yeah, yeah, not considered a valid sale. Oh, what okay. did we have with that? Oh, we were right in the neighborhood. I think three, 325, 316, we were very close. Okay. And this one. If I see the seller, I'm going to ask if they had an appraisal done or what, how they came up with the value. This one was a Transfer. Yep. Oh, this is the sale. Yes, that's the sale. Just closed on on Monday. Mm -hmm. Well, too fairly quickly. Actually, yes. Mm. All things considered, it really did. Yeah. New permits. Hi, Yep, you're welcome over here if you'd like to. Okay. You're done with it? Yes, I am, yeah. There are no new listings. Oh, so this is all. There's only one package. That's right. And well, that's 
It's still as stone his is contingent. Yeah, it shows us contingent. Right. Yeah. But so did four others or three others. That's and right. now they're gone. Right. So. One was handed over to family members. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, we saw the deed for that. Yep. The the okay. land on Graves Road. Gotcha. Okay. And a couple of others are supposedly, according to the mm -hmm. grapevine, going to go through. Mm -hmm. I don't have any more details than that about it. I see the signs bond on the roses and St. Peter's. Yes. Yep. So yes. I assume that must be. That's yeah. one of the ones I took down. Mm -hmm. Hopefully that will be going through. Yes. I talked to a couple of different interested parties on the property. Good. Good. Yeah. And you notice that the, the Mass Postal Holdings is doing some work at the post office. Yep. What kind of work are they doing? Tearing the building down, putting a new roof. Is, what, Not the built the shed. The shed. The shed. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> the the antique shop. Yeah. yeah. Tearing supposedly yeah. they're tearing that down and then that, and that's what Kevin said. Oh yeah. Right. Well, very good. Yeah, we, we did look at, we looked at the permit for that at the last meeting. Yes. Yeah. They would beat their way up there through the prickers and get up there. <laughs> what are they gonna do with that? Just tear it down. Oh. Yeah, the little shed up in oh. there. Yeah. That was from back when that parcel was still owned by Helena Baker and her husband. And they had an antique business mm. down there. Mm. But later on they sold that piece of piece to Sid. And that's how it came to be part of the post oh, office. Okay. Yep. Yeah. yeah. So uh new premise, new listings. We've covered that. Um shall we pause here and Invite Carla to come in since she's she's here. Okay. Um, I'll have you wait through the dreary parts of regular business. Um, can you print out a, a, another um, property card? I didn't get one with um, a final one. Mm -hmm. I don't even know. Feels like winter out there again. Oh God! <laughs> Is it cold? I feel it's cold. It's cold. It's cold. It's cold. I feel yeah. chilled. I was out this morning and I felt warm, and then I don't know, chilled. It would have been a good day to get out there, I guess, and do something, but I felt so cold. I didn't feel like going out. Well, we probably should tell it. Well, you know anyway that our meetings are important. Yep. Okay. Just miscellaneous question. Do you know if the library people are going to um put up those posts again? I don't at the, know. At the they bottom? put them down. Oh. Yeah. The lights. I know that they're up in my warehouse waiting to be welded. Well, oh, they're going to pick some. I believe so. Then Howard was going to do that on his own. He took them down, but I know I saw them somewhere. Oh, so. it'd be nice if they went back up because it's kind of a statement for the building, you know. Do they even light the ones up top? If they have to, I guess. I don't, I don't know if I've ever seen them wet. Um, so, um, yeah. So I thought we had talked about that one time when I came down that the barn was 2003, the year it was built. 
Okay. And you got 2004 here. It's 2000. No. What? It wasn't built in 2003. Well, whatever the year built. Yeah. It was built in 2003? Yeah. 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 And um, what was the other thing? Um, and I think you, and then how does the shed get on there at 19? I don't know. No, that's what we had had previously at some point. I guess. All right. Okay. And then on this machine shed, can you show me a list of anything that you that you're picking that from, or I mean, because it's basically just a storage shed. Why would it be named a machine shed? I mean, we don't we don't. Well, own it. No, it's not talking about using running machinery in it. Basically, so much as it it refers to the, where you store machinery like sun. Ma, ma, yeah, lawn mowers, uh, things like that. Um, so you don't just have something that's like a, a storage shed. shed? Yeah, but the, shed. the program calls it an equipment shed. That's essentially what the description we use, what you and I would call a tool shed. Yeah. Okay. I don't know. It just seems like a... So the barn is 2003, and the sheds were done. What do you got there? At the same time. That's the year it's been. No. Oh. No. Mm -hmm. Um. Sorry, Lee. What did you say? I said you say that the barn was built in 2003. Yeah. Okay. Let me just go check that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, we got it here is 1993. Yeah. I thought it was earlier than that. Well, she's got it here, 2004. I know, but it's built in 1993. Now we're talking effective age versus. How are we? What year is the house being built? Or <laughs> what year is the house being built? The bar on house. Year built, 1970. That's, that's right. Yeah. Okay. Do you have a list though of the how you list some of these storage sheds and things like that? You must have some kind of a list that you go by or something. We have a list of descriptions. Hang on just a minute, please. Mm -hmm. Okay, two thousand four. Must have a building for that. Probably. Should be in the file. No, I don't have it. I don't. I don't think I kept good files back then. What would oh, be in the here. file here? Oh, okay. Yeah. So, what's the final call on the barn? What year was it built? Yes, you tell me. I wasn't there. Well, but it would it be in my um, file, original file here for a building permit? If I had, um, yeah. supposedly got a building permit, so it would be in there, right? The building permit may or may not. Um, <laughs> they weren't filed that way. They were filed in folders by the year. <laughs> I don't know that it was listed as 93. Uh, well, then I guess we probably should follow through on that. I guess I don't know. Yeah. Because right. how well, can there's some research else to get in touch with the yeah. building inspector's office? Well, then this out. shed is built in 2000. Well, these are all mixed up. Okay. Were they built all at the same time? I thought the sheds were added a year or two later. Probably a year later. Okay. I would say. I know we kept with the barn. We had to put the barn up first and then sure. added them. And so, yeah. Okay. Well, I'll find out through the building inspector's office when it was built. When the permit. Oh, okay. If it goes back that far. Yeah. Okay. That would be great. Okay. 
Okay. And I'm I, I'm just confused about the machine shop. That must be if it. I don't know for diff, for different prices and stuff. I mean, can you tell me? Can you tell me the different uh, buildings and the prices? How you're? Well, the machine shop, what we call a tool shed, is a very basic little building. It has some sort of floor inside. Mm -hmm. Just got a cement floor on it. No, cement or wood, wood plank floor, floor, right? Yeah, yeah. right. It it just it doesn't have anything on the inside walls. It may have a small window or not. Mm -hmm. uh, the doors, maybe one or two doors. It doesn't matter. It's just basically empty inside, and you can put up hooks or whatever as you want. So, what's the difference between just a shed and a machine shed? The other one is a one side open shed. Right, the lumber. The, the lumber, lumber shed has one side open, yeah. mm -hmm. you, which correctly describes that unit. Yeah, yeah. Do yeah. you have just a shed, shed without machine? Shed? No, not in this, not in this program. Mm -hmm. We used to. Never mind what we had to have a little program. That doesn't matter anymore. We used to have a tool shed. So, what is the price that we're paying on the machine shed compared to what we're paying on the lumber shed? You can figure that out. Yeah. Right, yeah. How do you figure it out? The value divided by the square feet. So you divide yeah. the calculator. Do you have one? I don't have one. Mm -hmm. Oh. Okay. Okay. But the permits that we can see online only go back to 2014. Oh. So we'll have to look a little deeper. So what's the area um, of one of them? 96. 96 divided by? 620. Oh, I'm sorry, man. 620. 620 divided by 96. Divided by 96 equals $6.44 okay. a square foot. Okay. I can tell you when the kitchen was done. <laughs> we know that. Okay. And so then the machine shed, that's 970 divided by 124. Mm -hmm. $7.82 a square foot. Okay. $7.82. 82. 82. Okay. Okay. Not a large difference, but reflects the fact that it's a bit more weather yeah. resistant. Weather resistant. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 That's kind of why we put the doors on it because sure. you put stuff in there. Okay. Um, so on this. Here, I don't see that um, we were changing the condition of the house to average. Yes. And it's not changed. It's good. In the program, it's average. That's that thing again where changing from good to average, it didn't change it on the card, but it does show it as average. I'm like, I'd be happy to show you on the screen. Well, wouldn't it change the value? It didn't change the values. It didn't change the caption. It didn't change the value? Not significantly. Well, how can that be? I mean, from going to good to average, it's got to, it's, it's, it seems like it's got to change something. Um, we agree. Because, the, and this has been an ongoing issue with the program. So let me, I know it's, you, you decided what the condition and all that, you voted to do that. But let me just a ask you. Sure. Um, should because it, the program did not change anything, should the effective year be looked at and changed? Oh wait a minute now. Are we getting into the swampy ground? Of Carla being your sister. Well, no. You and... guys voted to change it to average, and nothing's changed. So I'm asking to make it value, I know I didn't vote for that. 
right? Right. So all I'm saying is to asking have the question. Yes, to have to come up with the value because you said you put it in average, but it didn't change anything. Should you look at the effective year and change that? What's the effective year actually mean? <laughs> I don't think that's really <laughs> Let's not get into that. Well, it means so, oh. okay. It's what did we just write down? Oh God! Oh, yeah. It's 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 looking at a house as opposed to how much longer it's going to live. Basically, debate depending on how it's been taken care of and any changes that have been made to it. Uh, a house's average life may be, say, 75 years from the time it's built. If at 25 years old, people go in, they redo the kitchen, they redo the exterior, or they put on a different siding, they put on a metal roof, mm -hmm. they've just extended the age, the time their house is going to live. Subjective adjustment of the age of the property based on recent improvements and remodeling. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And physical wear and tear. Yeah, but if you if you're looking at it and you you looked at it and it was good, and now you're saying it's average, mm -hmm. we should expect to see a value difference. Yes, and then you changed, and we didn't, and therefore, or at least you know what happened. Also, may have happened is the rounding. Well, I'm looking may at, have worked in one yeah. direction or the other. Well, I'm looking at this chart. Right? Yeah. And if the a year built is 1970, mm -hmm. and you had it as good, and if you look at good, now that's the old program. That doesn't have anything to do with this program. I know. Okay, that's good. What we're going by. Okay, so I'll make sure we're that just going by. Folks here listening to us. Who's listening? Anyone? Oh, yes. Who's listening to us is so realizing need, that you're looking it was, at it was a guideline, an example from another program. Yes. Yeah. So a good would be 1990. And the average, if you moved it, it would be five years different. Right, 1985. So, right. Mm -hmm. And so I'm I'm just saying that nothing changed when you put it in the computer, but also you have assessors have to change the effective year. So should the effective year be changed? Well, what's the effective year now? What what's it say? Two thousand. Two thousand. Mm -hmm. So I'm just suggesting get a, a twenty two year old house, twenty three, yeah. Basically, the equivalent of a 22 year old house that's had nothing particular done to it. Um, so that's, you know, and if I look I have, at this chart, it's saying 85. Yeah. I have one, one concern over following that procedure. In other words, using the effective age to change a value mm -hmm. uh, if the program isn't. And that's what about all the other houses that are falling into the same category? I know that's what we were talking about. That's right. That's one of the things we want to sort out. Mm -hmm. The final value on your property ended up at that sheet I just gave you tonight. This one here, probably so property. So that's yeah. 23 as it yeah. 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 Okay. And the value ended up at Roxy, can you see that Current. quickly? Yeah, you can find it faster than I can. One the a house value. No, the whole oh, property. Oh, the whole thing. 241. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. So what was it before? 254. Well, you can see right here. There'll be an as build and an as corrected. Wait a minute, this is weird. This is this is kind of because you uh, now you changed anything. it to two thirty nine five hundred. It was four two, that was no as build that was two forty two five as abated was two thirty nine. Just talking here. Yep. It said as built, your as build said 242.5 and okay. as abated was 239.5. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So the that one, was at one point when we were talking about it. Yes. No, those, are, those, are oh, your, right. those are your final ones when you did the abatement. But I believe that when I 
went ahead and calculated it again, something had been forgotten. I think that did not add in oh, that little piece of back decking shouldn't amount to anything like that, but or the two or the two sheds because they had not been included in the initial value. What, you have a note on that shed. about those sheds. So. You well, yeah. you're I'm confused. So because I'm confused here because it says that it would be added in as new growth. Yep. Yes. So probably the abated value takes it down to maybe two thirty nine five, and then the new value based on adding on that little back landing and the other shed and the two sheds and getting rid of the shed that we had there before comes up to the two forty one. So would that be for um, 24? Yeah. So we're talking about this is for 24. Is that what you're saying? Oh, yes. <laughs> this year, 24. Yes. It's also after the abatement, but I didn't, that doesn't stop the calculation at just the abatement. Because, because I'm confused right. because it's, you're yep. back to 241. Right. And this has the sheds and this has the little back step. Right. Okay. So what does your certificate say, your abatement certificate? Yeah, what's that say? I don't have it. I don't what's know. this right here? Well, I don't know. Yeah, let's that? see. I can figure it out from there. But is that what I was supposed to get for an abatement? Was a 50 something? Yes. Well, I no, did. this is the wrong one. I didn't get another one. I got a check, but I didn't get any another. It would have been in the same envelope as the two property cards. She didn't get no, it. No, I didn't get the. I mailed them in the same envelope. Nope, I didn't get them. This one, um, Lee gave it to me one other time that I came down here. Yeah, 239.5. Your abated value. This tax is on 239.5. So what was your check for? My check was for $98. Lucky you. <laughs> no, this is the this is the tax. So, so if may it, I? Sure. Oh. So I, your abated value after we took things off. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we took off that shed that we had as a, we took that off. What shed that we had as well? We used to have a single shed listed. And yeah, it turned a out- A lumber shed. Yeah. Okay. And we got rid of that. Okay. We took that off. Okay. And we deducted the brickwork. And we changed the exterior. Uh, you know, we made the changes that we had talked about. Yeah. That brought it down to 239.5. Now, moving forward to next year, we need to add in the little back step that yep. we didn't have on there before, that back landing. You sure that's not on there? That's yeah. not on there. And we need to How add- How do we know that it's not on there? Because this is the tax I'm amount be for 239.5. They are listed. Well, it, Lee. I don't, yes. I, I was kind of confused how you, right? you came up yeah. with that. So they are on there. And I, and I just want to understand this because I'm not all right. following. So, yeah, they're on there. They are on there. They are on there. And for, they are on here. For 23, yeah. the total was 244. Yeah. No, this is 23. 23. No, it's 41,300. Okay. Yeah. And then, and then it says, you took off. The building but went down to 169,900. Mm -hmm. Yep, it's on there. Okay. And it was 171. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the landing is on there. The sheds are on there. So the 239.5. And those two, the buildings and the land there add up to 239.5. And that's what that comes out. Yes. And that's exactly what this adjusted tax is for. I, I understand that. I understand that. But so how did you come up with the difference from 171, 700? to 169.900. It was deducting the brickwork. It was- Changed the dimension of something. We changed yeah. the dimension. Oh, the back porch dimensions. Mm -hmm. Right. the porch dimension. The covered porch. Mm -hmm. I remember. Yep, yep. Yes. Yep. 
Um, yeah, that's not good. Mm -hmm. We changed and that the overall condition the house value about three thousand. That was well, what they, the house value was one seventy one seven. Yeah, and sent to her as well, itemized entries. And it, House value dropped to 169. Well, yes, but I also gave her was, another one. It looks like 89. I gave an, uh, and I sent Carla another one. Nothing. Listing each of these. Wait a minute. The before no, and after. The land value is the same. Yeah. Okay. So it's just developing I, I values. Can't understand how. So, how, how um, so, can you tell me how much was taken um, off for the, um, the dimensions one? changed, the brickwork? Taken off. I sent it to you, but that should be the difference that between that and that. I don't think it. I think I don't think you sent it to me. It it should be the the difference between the one seventy one seven and if the one sixty nine nine. So eighteen hundred. A twenty twenty four card as an abated card because I can't use twenty twenty three. I can't change the figures on twenty twenty three account as it was billed. And I can't copy it onto a 2023A or something like that. Okay. So I have to go to 24 and make the changes there for an abatement. Okay. That's why it says 24 at the top. But let me. Right. I, uh, I, yeah. Okay. Got it. Okay. Yep. I need a calculator. All right. This is what. Yeah. It should have been about 1800 Lee. Just a minute. Let me... Because they were 1717 and they went down to 169.9. Yep. Oh, that's exactly what I have on this sheet. Just the right. changes for each thing, each item. We should really consider when you do when we're doing abatements, making a detailed explanation of each item that was changed. Yeah, that That's it. a detailed explanation of what items were changed and what it yeah. changed in the price, so people understand they just right. don't see. That's okay. exactly what this is. So do you have? That's what I think she's copying. Yeah, but does she have on there also because the the um. The exterior of the house was supposed to be changed to average, which well, that didn't. That, so if if I'm if I'm figuring this out right, the house only changed eighteen hundred dollars. Yeah, I didn't get this. Seventeen. Seventeen hundred. Yeah, yeah. The changes from exterior good to average, kitchen and bath modern to typical. Yeah, and back porch average to fair for a reduction of seventeen hundred dollars. Okay. The back porch correction of area from 336 to 272 was a reduction of $1,000. Mm -hmm. Getting rid of the brickwork yes. was a reduction of $1,200. Oh. So here, so the total abated on the house was $3,900. Then on the shed, we got rid of that. So that took another 400 off the old account. On the barn, we abated at $800 for the condition of the roof. Okay. So the total amounts abated added up to fifty one hundred dollars. Okay. Now we should have sent that sheet originally. Mm. I thought I had. Mm. We added in the back landing that added a thousand. Wait a minute. The back landing down, down at the bottom. Down here at the bottom. Yeah, I see that. But what, what was that's that, that little back step? That's worth a thousand. It's a step. Well, it's a nine by four. Nine by something. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, that's the open shed, off. the closed shed. That's why I called them here. You changed the back porch how many feet and you only took off a thousand? That's what the calculation came up to. And then you add four feet and you add a thousand. Different kind of porch. This is a covered porch. And this is just an open. open. That's an open landing. Right. So. Mm -hmm. A covered porch should be more valuable. It's right? more per square foot, yes. And it only added up to a thousand minus. Mm -hmm. Because she still had 272 square feet of covered porch. I know. So what's the difference? More than four. Oh, my God. Please. It's the difference is 
what, 64 feet, square feet. Right, and it only difference is a thousand. Right, that's what it calculated up to. You're pulling numbers out of your bottom there, Lee. It's confusing because yeah. then you add four feet for a little landing. No, that's 36 square feet. Mm -hmm. Okay, and that's a thousand. Mm -hmm. Okay, anyways. And so this is, I couldn't think of how to make this any clearer. Work. And the two two sheds were were will grow, right? Yes. Okay. Well, how can that be new growth when it's on there with already? It's already on there in the 171. We took off the old sheds that had been listed. These. Oh, the one that's up here. What year were you in? Oh, okay. 23. Yeah. Okay. That's 20. This is 24 is abated or 23 is abated. Yes. So they're added back in. Yeah. Excuse me. I've got to answer this. Well, that shouldn't be added in already if you're abating them and you said you took them off. Well, basically, I, I'm totally well, confused how you came up with this. We took off, we just, we deducted the things that were taken off for the abatement. That value came out after the things were deducted to 239.5. So that figure here is the adjusted tax for 239.5. So if you, if you, you got 171, 700, right? That's what it was filled at for the house. Yes. And on the house, we ended up deducting $3,900. But you need to look at the whole buildings because that's building is not just the house. Right, so if you minus. Okay, so if you're looking at all. 620 equals minus. Wait a minute, where are you? 970 where are you going? equals. And then you minus. Hmm? 1711. Is that what I did, What's the I total? Said, what's the total? 17170. No. no. Oh, one, one, seven, one. No. 240. Oh, 241, 300. Okay. Minus 5100. Wait a minute. 5100. Minus 5100. 241.3, you took that, you know. Well, I, I can't it's not think of enough. another way to explain it any more clearly than this. Well, it's not figuring out to what you're saying, though. But this is now an old issue. I mean, an old. This was printed in March. Well, when you first did we it. made changes. Right, we made changes since then. Well, okay. So where's the new one then? Where's the one you just she just gave you? Okay. So so if you take, if you look at the, if you want to go back to the two thirty nine nine, no two thirty nine five. You'd have to deduct these two sheds because they were added back in. Okay, let's start over. Okay, so go to 241 3. 341 3 Brazil. Minus 600 minus 1000. We have to round. Oh, 600? Mm hmm. Minus 1000. What that? 239 700. Okay, and then there's another 200. Someplace. So these were supposed to be taken off. So they were. Okay. So I should be able to minus that, right? Three. If you take the initial minus three. If you take nine, it, zero, zero, equals. So that comes out to three thirty-five eight hundred. No, you're, you're, I think we've got apples and oranges here. Yeah, because you're saying you're taking off the brickwork 
We've taken out, he took off the brickwork, we reduced the size of the back porch. Right. And I think we changed its, no, I can't do that now. And we made all these changes, these three changes to the overall house condition. Mm -hmm. They from it from good to average. Mm -hmm. And that accounted for this amount. So that amount was taken off the house value. So that should be taken off the... Well, you don't have a separate house value there. Take your building's value. But, well, how about if I just take all that off and then I'll get the, the building's value? How's that? Okay. Okay. And you'll have the house value as indicated there, yes. Okay, so let's do this one. Try to figure this out. Minus three, four, five, four. Well, that should be one thir thirteen one probably. No, I think if you do them exact, they come out minus six. No, well, because they all round for the nearest hundred once they're actually in use, and that doesn't show here on this program either. And I find that very difficult. Do I have a pen? So it comes out to oh, one. Here you go. That's all to think. So it comes out to let's let's just go one five seven zero. Oh. Six zero, right? Okay. We have the calculator there. Okay, and then if I so that's without so then this. We're so then we're going to deduct fifty one hundred. Well, wait. Well, okay, just the house. Yep, All right, we're just doing the house minus three nine zero zero equals okay one fifty three. Well, what was all this? That's what we took off the, the other shed. So that's on so the it's barn. on buildings. So these have been taken off and this is what was taken off the barns. So you have to look at a total of 5,100 taken from the buildings number. <laughs> I'm confused. <laughs> so how did you take off the 400? I eliminated that shed because it basically wasn't the sheds that were there, so we eliminated it completely. And then put on the two other sheds well, what was directly. Your, what was your sheds before though? Wouldn't you, wouldn't you delete what was on there originally? Deleted this shed right here. Oh, 410. That one right there. Yes. yes. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. I deleted that. Okay. That's yeah. it right here. Okay, gotcha. So we deleted that one. And then on the barn, we changed the condition from good to average yep. because of the roof. Yep. And that was an adjustment of $800. Yep. So the barn value came down to 13.1. Yes. Okay, got that. Why was this 72? 172. And how did we end up at 171? Oh, because of that. This is the buildings. Yes. Again, it's an earlier page that was superseded by later information and work. I don't know. I, I'm just I'm just totally confused. Okay. So I guess my biggest So we 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 had told you to 39.5. Yeah, and that's what your tax ended up being the tax for 239.5. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. For next year, yeah. We are adding in these couple of little things the two sheds and the back landing. They're already on there, though. Yeah, they were on there. I know, but. They were in that total. All right. They are there. Sorry. But the 239 with the 239 5, they're there. You want a picture that shows 239 5 here. That's what you want is a page that shows you 239 5. Right? Well, it, well, instead of the 241. Well, not just shows it, it doesn't compute. You're saying that's not on there, but it's added into the 150, 171. That's right. And then, and they're more than the 400. I'm going to do another sheet, 2023 as abated, that does not show the love, these two sheds at all. Mm -hmm. 
that does not show the back step at all. Okay. And that pro it should come out to 239.5 here, to show you that figure here. And that will be your figure as abated. And then I'll do a 2024 sheet, sheet that shows you what was that, plus adding the two sheds on the barn, plus adding the back step. Okay. Mm -hmm. That would be great. Okay. <laughs> but I still have a question as to how you come up with only $1,700 difference when you go from the outside from good to average, you change the bathrooms from modern to typical, the kitchen in the bathroom, from modern to typical, and the outside from good to average. And it's only $1,700. That's how it calculated based on the figures in the costs. Okay, so my question is, should you be looking at it and changing the effective year? I don't have an answer for that right now. That requires more thought. That is one way to adjust a value. Because but if you, that you, gets into the viability of what we've been talking about, if we go to a new program, what we'll do is go through ours now. And every house that was built in 1995 and that is considered a good will have the effective age of 2010 that every single one of them will, so that they're all consistent. And I mean, we just did another abatement and we looked at this chart and used the effective year. No, well, we didn't use it. We used that as an example of how to calculate. No, we did use it. Did we actually take it from that? Yes. All right. Uh, because that that graph, that chart is not in this program. I understand, yes, but we have to have something to go by. Right, but we can't go around. Uh, it just doesn't seem right that you change the condition of the outside. Obviously, it's average compared to good, right? That's right. what you agree mm -hmm. to. Yes. And the bathrooms, we it was marked on there as modern, and you change them to typical. Without? Seeing it. Yes, without well, the advantage well, of seeing it. The point also was they were changed to modern without going into seeing them. Laurie, what was that permit you just mentioned? We was, already went over that. Yes, I know. It didn't have a bathroom on there. Yeah, it was the kitchen. Mm -hmm. So, and the kitchen got changed. I mean, sorry, the bathroom got changed. Right. We went over that, so you decided to change it. I'm just going over what you decided you guys voted on to do. Mm -hmm. And I'm questioning how the value came out when you decided to change okay. those. I really think we're stepping over here the line of what participation you can take in this issue because Carl is your sister. And opinion and Questions, statements are very close and easily confused. I'd like to take this to a work session sometime in the next couple of days. May I suggest a session with you, Russ, and Carla, and the computer? Yes. You know, you can use the laptop yes. and log in. Yes. That way she can see what you're doing. Yeah. And you can Does explain that you? what you're doing. Sure. I just, I, I mean, I'm not trying to make a problem here. Right. I'm just, I no, want to understand. I just want to understand. Mm -hmm. I things, couldn't figure it out. I'm sorry. <laughs> when things are taken off, how you came well, up with it. Well, if you plugged it in and that's what it showed, I mean, mm -hmm. that's. But it's that, wrong. Well, so I, somebody's I'm not well, saying it isn't wrong. I'm right. saying that the computer is telling us. We're and saying. Giving us these figures. Right or wrong, that's what's coming out of the computer. Right. Yes. I understand that, but and we this also is one of the reasons why we're questioning whether we, to we also keep this had program. a discussion that the effective year we change. We haven't been changing. No, but now we know that in Tyler it's up to the, it's up to the assessor to the change. We just found year. that out, and right. if, which and is if, totally contrary to anything that ever we've ever done before. Right, and so. If we go by this to give some fairness to a value, 
but we don't know. That's not an up to date chart. That may not. That may be in left field. We don't know. It's, it's yeah. Well, well, no, really. Yeah, you're right. It hasn't been updated. It hasn't been exactly updated, but I mean, it's not exactly. I mean, how long? How old is it? What's the date on it? Twenty two. Twenty two. Yeah. <laughs> Last year is twenty one. <laughs> so it's not it's that far that. off. In left field. No. It was oh, last it was used pretty. in fiscal 21. Yeah. So, I mean, I'm looking at just even the effective, I'm just saying it should go down something. This is all part of our major discussion. Yeah. About what we like and don't like about Tyler. This is one example of what we don't like. Yes. And as far as this particular. I think this is sh also showing that it's not calculating things accurately when it's calculated accurately but it's using an erroneous approach is perhaps um we didn't like it that it didn't change between good and average well that's because it's not changing the effective year we have to right. do it right so if we change the effective year then it's going to be um accurate a, a little more accurate Mm -hmm. Well, I think we have to think so, about so that what happens and talk about what it. What happens and... if you change the effective year? Can you go in and see what the value would be different? Yes, but we're already. Oh, okay. I think it's time. Time it doesn't have to be done in an open meeting. We can do it in a work session, which is open meeting. Which is open meeting, but it's not being recorded, right? The whole world doesn't have to sit and listen to every single detail of it. Well, maybe it's interesting to people that it is complicated and it isn't it is complicated yes and we've worked hard to define that's yours some of the areas that we you got one of these things yeah yeah i got one yeah. right here yeah. this is your that we find questionable or difficult this is more or difficult. inconsistent or yeah illogical yeah because i'm I, trying I, to I, find I, the best ways to deal with them right and i i i questioned it as to changing a whole bunch of things on the house and it only went down 1700 and you thought that didn't seem right either so. I thought it seemed like a low amount for those changes. those numbers of changes yes well so that's why something anyway <laughs> because I, I'm just saying you guys voted to change those things but the numbers didn't quite compared to what you changed. That's all I'm saying. And what we expected. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's true. So. Okay. So what are we going to do? We're, We're going to get together. Um, oh. Any chance that you could come in after lunch tomorrow for a little bit? I've got a four o'clock appointment. Uh, three o'clock. I mean, this one. This is the wrong time of year. I know. Oh. Uh, but do Saturday. Are you? Would you be available, Carla, on Saturday the eighth? What about you? That, that's the day before. The day before Easter. Easter. Yeah. 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 yeah that, that one. Yeah. A lot of people are getting ready here. Okay. Yeah. That's that's not a good weekend. Right. I mean, at what time would you do it tomorrow? Like if I came in for an hour, I mean, I'm not going to stay No, 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 it's three. I, I just can't. Yeah, I'd say three o'clock, and I have an appointment at four, so. Oh, you take lunch? I take lunch. <laughs> you take it mm -hmm. during your lunch. <laughs> this is one of those rare people that actually takes a lunch break on his lunch break. Okay. <laughs> We could do it early next week. Then maybe do it at, at 4.30 or 5. If that's possible with you. Mm -hmm. We had to do it late in the afternoon. Okay. Then right in the middle of the day. All right. All right. Let me see what my schedule is going to be early next week. Well, let me look at Carla's schedule. Oh, that's the 10th of the Oh, yeah. I got a couple things scheduled next week, so... Let's see what happens. Okay. We'll work it out. All right. Well, let's let's work toward that. 
I'm going to go over these figures again and come up with something because I can't <laughs> understand. This. Okay. Oh, okay. Um, okay. How much did you say? Let me look at this before. Can I have it? I'll, I'll make a copy of that. I want to. Yeah. Oh, one. thank you. Yeah. Okay. Shall we move along? Yes. Okay. Okay. I'll be out of here. So it, it it just seems to me though too that everything that was taken off should make and, a and, bigger difference. Yes. In the check for fifty whatever dollars that you we authorized fifty two ninety nine. Yeah, I think it was. Yes. That, that Did something that, come out weird because she got a check for more? Than I that. don't know. The town will give us some money on something else. I have no idea. Did you have a motor vehicle abatement in there? Yes. So it's probably a combination of the two yeah. figures. Could have been a, the check could have been a combination of both. The motor frail collect size abatement plus this abatement. It's possible they made one check for both. The mm -hmm. check was for ninety-eight dollars. Well, that, mm -hmm. that was that was for the truck. So I didn't get a check for this yet. Then did you get that abatement in? How come they don't oh, have because... it labeled? <laughs> God, it, oh you wouldn't know because it, Wait a minute. if Wait a minute. if the abatement goes through before the next billing, then it's credited. So you that's right. It. So she reduced. You don't your, get a your check. Bill. Your bill is reduced. No, it didn't get. No, I I paid for it. You paid your the whole. You paid the whole year in October. For for twenty twenty three. Yeah. What did you pay? Just did you pay something just now for your real estate taxes? No, I haven't paid it yet. Okay, oh, well, here's your bill. Okay, okay. So, so probably let's see if it's on there. It won't be. Well, well it would show her. No, you'll have a new bill. You'll have a revised bill that shows your right. abatement. So her first bill was for two thousand one hundred and sixteen ten. Right. The second bill is for one thousand thirty three dollars. Yeah, but she gets this off up here. Yeah. Well, the principal paid. No, yeah. Let's get that off. That's that's the abatement. No, 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 that's it, no, it, it, no. It says exempt abate. Yeah, no, but that, she has a other other that's a real estate, right? It, the that, real estate abatement, and that's you know, she has the veterans, right? Right. right, but it would be the two combined. Yes, probably because the veterans because is that would be the veterans is a thousand twelve thousand thirty, and then fifty two dollars, and then the fifty two ninety nine. Right. Would be ten but why is that? Why do I have thirty on this one? A thousand thirty is your thirty standard is veterans preservation fund. exemption. Oh, okay, thirty is the community preservation fund portion of it. Right, a thousand thirty is the standard. So the difference between that is fifty two ninety nine. You don't know what you're paying for. <laughs> yeah. It, oh, that's that one. Okay, yeah. fifty two ninety nine is what Lee just said that the abatement was for. So that so it is on there. So it is reducing your it reduced bill. her bill by fifty two ninety nine. Yes. But yes. then I thought when she came in and we were you were gonna go over it and call her. And yeah, instead of sending out the instead of doing the fifty two. I apologize. There have been well, some no, other things going on, on in my life. We voted on it. Yeah. You voted on it? We voted on the abatement. Yes. Yeah. 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 And once you sign the abatement paper, it goes mm -hmm. in the jam. Mm-hmm. But well, I, was, I didn't. I, was so I don't know. Call. I was but, supposed to call Carla, and I didn't. Yeah, but I mean, it, and I am we sorry. did vote on. Yes, we did. Oh, oh, yes. Okay. So, but she had, can. So that does does it does it? You have it for the amount for the amount ninety nine cents right. right for the amount of um everything that's been added and subtract not added but subtracted from the real estate. Fifty-two dollars. That's all that that did. Yeah, that isn't. So that so that's the point that it says it's right. Like... But if you look at you have a two thousand dollar tax bill on a two you know a two hundred and something thousand dollar property. So if you're only taking a couple thousand dollars off of that, it's only going to be a few dollars. It's well, if you're if you're taking fifty one hundred and. So it's five thousand times seventeen. Mm -hmm. What is our so five times seventeen? That's wrong. What's our what's our tax rate? Right 17, here, seventeen fifteen. So seventeen point one five times five point one. Five point one equals. Ooh, it's not on. <laughs> <laughs> All 
All right. So let's let's point. set all of this. So that's the wrong amount. We'll, we'll double check everything. I'm I, I'm sorry that I'm making a no, problem that's here, okay. but I, I don't want there to be problems, and I want them to be solved. <laughs> Just listen. We have it, this one, to be this one will be solved. So when you get a new program, you can just put this one right yes. through. <laughs> oh, I don't know. I tell you. But yes, I would love to move on because I need to get to family. Yes. Okay. But five times seventeen is not That's right. It should be about eighty-five. It should be about eighty-five dollars or yeah. eighty-six dollars in some sense. Hmm. Okay. So something's wrong. Well, we'll find it. So. Let me know when we can get together mm -hmm. and we can solve it. So, okay. So I'll be notified. Yes. <laughs> okay. I'll make sure that one of us calls you. Yeah. I'm going to be sporadic. For yes, next, I know it. For the next week and a half. So. Yeah. Well, let me know. Okay. 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 Thank you. Oh, safe travels. Yeah. Here to there. <laughs> Thank you. Whew. Okay. Um. Uh, just in the lobby, I hope. Doesn't matter. It needs to go place. away. I know it. Okay. Who do we I have? A motor vehicle abatement. We need to eliminate the bat. Oh. Now. Okay. I'm not coming. We in shall at take a pause in the morning with the bat being from recording while we go and eliminate the bat in the entryway. Do you know what the best way to do a bat is? Vehicle. <laughs> I know. Okay, we're back. We are going to eliminate the bat after the meeting is completed. Okay, sorry. It's the uh, this was the real estate abatement we granted last time. I was the only one that got assigned at the moment. So that we do not have any motor vehicle. You all, yeah, you all voted on it. And yeah, we all voted it at our last meeting. Oops, that's just that one. So what's the 13 for? Oh, the team. Yeah. So the the adjustment. Tax adjustment. So we only need it 3,000? Is that what that's saying? I don't remember. Sorry. Sorry. Oops. Four hundred and thirty-four dollars. Oh, that's four hundred thirty-nine. So divided by seventeen, twenty-five thousand six hundred. Okay, was the amount. Okay, abated. Okay. So you want me to sign those? Oh yes, please. Okay. And Ross as well. And both the second page. Oh, sorry. And you're going to send copies of the. Mm -hmm. okay. Hey, John. Oh, she's. You will give me the as bill as bills and the as abated cards for that. Yeah, that's very helpful. Okay, uh, next is the conflict of interest topic. Mm -hmm. um, My, oh. Do I have a motor vehicle in there? You didn't see one. Did it? Oh, okay. My bad. I thought I did. No, I thought it was, but it was that one. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, perfect. Yeah, I don't see one. 
This was comes under other. That we took care of. That's other. Yeah. Um, the conflict of interest topic. Um, the person with whom I'd been dealing and was trying again and again and again to catch, I finally talked with today. She's been out on a family medical leave matter. So does not have a written answer for us. She will send us a written answer as soon as possible. If she can't do it within the next half week or so, she's going to hand it over to somebody else. And we do not have a definitive answer from our town council either. Veronique talked with her today. So, I mean, I guess I'm questioning because they've got the one that I submitted. I don't know. How can our so town probably. council council cannot I don't know what she has to say about it. Uh, I mean, this has been going on for months. They also do not. I know it's been going on for months. Yours also, you, the, the answer you get also does not include the questions you asked or the comments you made on the phone to the person who sent you the answer. Say, what? Say that again? When, when you contacted them, you contacted, contacted her by phone, right? Mm-hmm. And you didn't send her anything in writing. No. With your questions and your concerns. No. And so it may be hard for someone to look at an answer and say, wait a minute, was that with regard to this question or that question or that? And, you know, if you have a question and an I, answer. I thought it was pretty clear, but anyways. Well, Oops. we've read it differently than you did. Mm -hmm. But it basically, we can't do anything on it for another until another meeting. So I do have a question about what you sent in. Mm -hmm. That's my in private and private mail that I put into public. So record. how can it be private when it's got the town I, well, logo on it? I said it. I didn't realize at the time that letters to the in the to the commission it, are from one individual to the commission that they don't deal with boards and and local departments. So I wrote it that way uh, and found out afterwards that they won't answer a board. They won't answer a conservation commission. They answer individuals who have sent an individual inquiry. Because I asked you if it was from you personally and the first line says, the Conway Board of Assessors would like to ask your guidance. So it wasn't written as an individual. They basically took out parts of it. That's not to make make it be from me as an individual when they when the part Jerry... the point I'm trying to make is you sent this is as the board asking from the board, which I had no knowledge of this. And you're saying the Conway Board of Assessors you had no knowledge that I wrote. You, right. You did have knowledge that we were talking about that procedure. I did, but I did not know what you wrote. Right. And anything that comes from the board, Conway Board of Assessors, we're all supposed I'll to I'll rewrite it on blank paper. Well, aren't we all supposed to know if it comes from the Board of Assessors? I was the only one signing it. It says, the it's, Conway Board of Assessors would like to ask your guidance. Right, and I wrote it as a member of the board. As one member. In fact, as the chair. As the chair. Yes. At any rate, let's wait and see what comes. But I also have some problems that you wrote in here. Okay. Would you like to read this? Because, or do you want me to read the whole thing as an open meeting and let everybody know what was said? Well, I think we should wait and when we get yes. an answer back, then we can. Yes, then well, I'll no. read it. It's my, I wrote it, I'll read it. Okay. Read when it. we get some answers back. Well, why don't we read it now? Why? Be what is the great benefit of reading it now instead of waiting? Because you, you put accusations in here about me specifically that um, one assessor, you want me to read it? I'll read no, it. No, I'll read it. Okay. I don't want anyone else reading what I wrote, basically. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's open meeting. Everybody should it's know. It's open meeting, yes. Mm -hmm. I move that we hold the public. Uh, uh, 
the reading of this until we get some answers in from our um, no, but yeah, I counselors, the, the town counselor, whatever. Should someone like to read it before then, they can come in here and read it. This is open meeting. We're supposed to be able to put things out, transparency as to what is going on. So why can't we read what was sent to Fine. the Fine. Okay. All right. Uh, dear commissioners, this is to the State Ethics Commission. The Conway's Board of Assessors would like to ask your guidance on the propriety of hiring an independent appraiser to value the three board members' properties for fiscal 2024. One assessor, one assessor, member C, new to assessing in June, is challenging the values of the other's properties, but in doing so, has alienated them by unfounded accusations that members A and B's properties were intentionally valued below fair market value for their personal benefit and accused member A of making changes to her own account without board agreement to reduce its value. Member C repeatedly challenged the other two members stating, but you must have changed your own values. In essence, calling the other two members liars. <laughs> the town administrator was present when these allegations were made. Due to the repeated insulting and slanderous accusations cited, member A's, members A and B's families refused to allow member C to enter their homes for interior inspection. Member A and B's families will allow each other or a qualified independent contractor to conduct interior inspections of their properties. During abatement discussions for fiscal 21 and 22 and in board meetings beginning shortly after election this past June, member C repeatedly refused all requests for interior inspections of her house and barn as requested over about two and a half years as part of her abatement applications. In trying to solve this problem in a fair and open process, member A suggested that the independent contractor who has assisted Conway in the past four or five recertifications and knows the town well and works in more than 30 other towns in ma other Massachusetts towns, be hired to inspect and determine the full and fair market value for all three board members' properties for fiscal 24. Oh, excuse me. The contract would be paid by existing with existing funds available from the valuation account. Members A and B welcome this procedure. An outside contractor's assessment of all three properties removes any questions that any other property owner or board member might raise about self-interest in the valuations of the assessor's properties. After this proposal, member C contacted your commission and received a letter in reply, reading some of it aloud at the December 21st 2022 open board meeting. According to member C's interpretation of Amy Mee's letter, Amy Mee being a commissioner of the Ethics Commission, the board cannot consider any such process as bringing in an outside contractor to value the board's properties or even discuss it at a meeting. Although many towns rely completely on outside contractors to collect data and value properties. When asked, member C did not allow any other member of the, or the clerk of the board to read the letter and refused to allow it to be put into the meeting minutes saying that it is a personal communication. The board stopped discussion of this entire matter and the chair, A, said that they would con contact your commission to be sure that both you and our board understand this matter clearly and we will be following the law and considering or taking any further action. Without having seen the letter received by member C, the other board members and public have no idea of its complete text or context or of what information was sent to the commission uh, to review for their response. At the December 21st board meeting, member C said that she favors having all three assessors conduct interior and exterior inspections of each other's properties. Values would be calculated by the two non-owner members with the owner member of each property, of course, abstaining from discussion. This is the first time that member C has indicated permission for an interior inspection of her property. Um, member C has also introduced and tried to direct discussions in open meeting about the valuation of her own home. This letter and your response to it will become part of the Board of Assessors permanent and public minutes. We will promptly answer any questions that you have. So our questions, Number one, 
in the interests of solving any occurrence or appearance of favoritism, may a board hire an independent qualified outside contractor to value the board member's properties? Number two, can a letter purporting to be from your commission requested by a board member and presented to the board as the definitive decision on a question be withheld from public record? And number three, can an assessor comment on or lead a discussion of the value of their own property? Thank you for your consideration and direction in this matter. Now, the initial response that I had was a phone conversation from Commissioner Jerry Tuoti, T-U-O-T-I, in which he said, question number one, can we hire an outside contractor? Yes, absolutely. Question number two, can a letter uh, request from the commission requested by a board member and presented to the board as the definitive decision on a question be withheld from the public record? Yes, because that letter is a private communication between that individual and the commission. Three, can an assessor comment on or lead discussion of the value of the wrong property? And of course the answer there is no. Now, what do you mean no? I can't talk about anything about my own property unless it's an open meeting. Right. But you're not supposed to comment on or, or lead a discussion on the value of your own property. If you apply for abatement. Oh, well, then I, that's one question. But, you know, even in that discussion, you're not supposed to participate. I wasn't supposed to participate in a decision on an abatement, which I did not. I excused myself from the board as an individual citizen about an abatement. And that's the way we proceeded. Those were the answers he gave me to the questions as written. Mm -hmm. Now, a couple of months ago in January, we decided that with, uh, no, in February was, I finally got that answer by telephone from him by telephone. And we decided uh, that since there seemed to be, yeah, that's no copy, since there seemed to be differences, that we would inquire again. At that point, you put your letter mm -hmm. that you would receive from Amy Me into mm -hmm. public record. Mm -hmm. And so at that time, both letters were sent to the commission again and to our town council. And we're still awaiting uh, a definitive answer from either. Mm -hmm. But the problem is unfounded accusations, you said I allegated. Yes, you alleged, yep. Yeah. Yep, and all I was doing was reading your property card. But you were accusing. No, I was reading. I says, how does- You were saying- How does- I'm no. not going to get into it right well, now. Well, come on, that, that's enough. I, right. I moved that we table this until we hear from- Yep. Well, that's fine, but I second. It's open meeting, and we're supposed to be discussing this. We just did. We will discuss it more. Well, I'm I'm concerned about unfounded alle allegations that I said that she that you're writing to the state, and all I'm saying is, I was reading I property cards yes. where no one, nothing is listed as to who inspected the house. You come up with these values and changes. That's what I read. We have a motion on the floor to stop this discussion. I know you don't yeah. like to discuss it, so. Do I hear a second? Second. Or I made the motion. No, that's right, I seconded it. <laughs> have we further discussion? I guess not tonight. <laughs> All in favor? Aye. Aye. Two and one. Stand. Or are you against? Doesn't matter. Whatever. Okay. Okay. We received the um, farmland values for fiscal 2024. They have almost all gone up a bit. What's this? Uh, this is the farmland valuations for Chatland and Chapter 61, mm -hmm. Chapter Valuation mm -hmm. for 60 for fiscal 24. So is this like $5? Is that yes, that's that the difference. $5 more. Yes. Okay. okay. This year than last year. Okay. Has this been under new mail? Yes. <laughs> Somewhere in there. Other business. New mail. It didn't come. I was an email. 
It's male. Okay. Farm land values, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, farm land values. Cranberry values? Oh, mm -hmm. yes. We don't have any of those, but they're right up there. Huh. Well. Okay. Um, also, under other business, we probably should. Uh, take a vote on these two applications for exemption from the Community Service Act because the supporting information was not provided to us by the April 1st deadline. Um, I move that we deny uh, these two particular applications. I don't think I need to put the names out there. We're not supposed to anyway. Right, as being incomplete on the, on the basis of being incomplete. Uh, do I hear a second? Second. Okay. Mm -hmm. Any discussion questions? Oh, all in favor of Aye. denial? Aye. 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 We'll just fill in the back here and then we'll get the certificates ready. Okay. Does this go with this? Yes, it does. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. Um, on Monday evening, I zoomed into the selectmen's meeting to go over um, the costs of a conversion to another valuation program. And we did to a certain extent. I had new figures I had to get. I was still waiting from on from different uh, categories, you know, whether to have them hosted or we host it and have to upgrade to a server, all this kind of thing. Basically, what has happened is that the warrant closed on Monday, but we have a placeholder warrant line article number that we can fill in the details of in the next couple of weeks. So Hopefully by the middle of next week, um, or certainly before I go away at that next meeting, we'll have all the information available. Um, I would like to type up the comments I've had from other towns and send it to each of you as a synopsis. I've had, you know, this is my discussion with Julian Bernardston. This is my discussion with Al Jones in Brookfield. Um, I'm going to talk to Dalton too because it turns out that they went to it not from trailer but from something else. And Marblehead and Plainville, I've also learned, have also gone to it. So that's two more in addition to the others, probably up to about five or six, six of them I've spoken directly. And the pros, the cons, the Are difficulties. They all or... Generally speaking, yes. No one's regretting it. No one's regretting. No one is regretting it. Yeah. And so I can send you a synopsis of it. And mm, I'll check with Veronique as to when she has to have the absolute final wording, but I think it's about six weeks before. Oh, golly, that's about the 18th. That's going to be our next meeting night. Oh, gosh. 
I'll find out from her directly when is the exact date for the last wording. Yep. It looks like all of the ARPA money is going to be dedicated to the refurbishment of the old highway garage for a, an emergency services facility. And so a question would be, where would we come up with the money to do this? Um, probably twenty to 30000 altogether. Uh, that's if we have to upgrade to a server and that kind of thing. But that didn't sound very promising by Roy. He seems to think you should pay the annual hosting agreement. Yes, he does. He's very much in favor of paying an annual hosting agreement for 2500 mm -hmm. instead of upgrading our hardware. Because the cost of upgrading the entire network would be exponential. Yes. Yes, us upgrading would have to mean that everybody else gets upgraded too. And oh, oh yeah, bad news financially. Mm -hmm. So he suggests having them hosted for twenty five hundred a year, um, and that's good reasoning. So does Tyler host, or no? Uh, we host Tyler. You tell us is web based. And that's yeah. There's this cloud based. Yes, actually. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, there's this cloud based. This is not. This is on the ground, so to speak. Mm -hmm. not in the cloud. So um, I'd say we're pretty close to coming to talk about a decision on this mm. once I get the final figures. And it just sounds, just from what I'm realizing, that it's calculates it much better than what and much more openly Tyler yeah. program does yeah. and doesn't do. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, follow through on that. Mm -hmm. um, do we have any other business before the board tonight? Or any public comments? Do we have any public? Okay. Everybody went home, huh? <laughs> they didn't want to listen to us try to figure out. Well, <laughs> neither do we. <laughs> uh, so no other, have we had no other business tonight? No, I move. We oh, wait, oh, well, oh, I do have a question. We work, we've been working on the Zoom. Oh, yes, the presentation. Presentation, and we've got a lot. Yes. Good. Yeah, yeah. We'll probably maybe do it as a standing still Zoom presentation fairly quickly. That will be on our website. Good. Oh, so you're just going to post it on the website? Well, it'll be on our website or it'll be live. And it's coming along <laughs> much closer. <laughs> oh, I hate being on camera. I hate this thing. Uh, at any rate, the owl, our good old owl. But uh, yes, we are working on that and pretty well finished up the descriptive uh, tables mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. today. All of, I need describing anything on the sheet. And now it's a matter of presenting it in a way that folks can absorb it pretty easily, I hope. Don't want to overwhelm folks. And at the same time, they'll have the entire written thing available mm -hmm. on our website to download mm -hmm. and look at with our property record card in hand. Mm -hmm. Okay. Anything else? No. Okay. I move to adjourn at 6.58. Second. Aye. All favored. Yes. Aye, aye, aye. <laughs> Meeting adjourned. Look at the bat.